Uh, I played with Bailiff Fleck in the Fleck Tones for 14 years, uh, from 97 to 2010. And early on, uh, we did a bunch of opening dates for Dave Matthews, and which is where I ended up meeting all those guys, and Leroy Moore, the original saxophonist, the founding members of the group. In 2008, he had a very bad ATV, one of those four-wheelers, and broke a bunch of ribs, clavicle, scapula, punctured a lung also. So I got a call on July 1st of 2008 to uh, uh, see if I could sub for him for a couple of months until he recovered. He was supposed to fully recover. Uh, tragically, a month and a half later, he passed. At the end of that year, uh, they asked me to stay on with the band. And I talked to Flectones, and, and we all agreed that it was um, the right move to do. But I, I've never thought of it as, as replacing somebody, because I don't think you can replace somebody. So learning the material, there's about 140 or 150 tunes in the catalog. And so I spent an entire month before we went on tour Every day, uh, between two and four hours a day, just putting the iPod on shuffle and just playing along. Trying to understand the inflections that he was putting in the music, trying to um, get a grasp of the parts also, because the sections are different all the way through. It's not, it's not symmetrical form. And so really getting that so ingrained in my head that no matter what tune came next on the iPod, I was ready for it. So there's that application, and then the application of actually playing it live with a whole other thing, and trying to retain who I am as a musician, but also respect and pay homage to all those years that, that he was there, and the sound of the band. It, it, it's, it's a delicate thing, you know, it's, it's a delicate um, precipice to be on a lot of times. So there are things that I play every night that are directly from his influence. And there are things that I play every night that are very much me. And so I try to balance those things out. When I got called on July 1st to sub, I said, well, okay. I said, well, I'm in New York right now. All my gear's in Nashville. I said, when do they need me for the gig? And they said, right away. I said, well, what do you mean by right away? I said, the next gig's tomorrow. And I said, well, you mean right away. <laughs> so if I didn't have, you know, I've been talking about fundamentals a lot. If I didn't have my fundamentals together, I never could have walked in and done it. And because we, Rash Rashawn and I had to sketch stuff out, and I had to really pay attention. I had to use every skill that I had to get through each and every night. So I still work on it. I'm still working every day. I'm still listening to the music. If there's something we haven't played for a while, I'm still listening. Because I don't want to be the one to stick out with the thumb. You know, I don't want to step in. It's a process, an ongoing process. It's an ongoing process. And uh, everything, everything must change. Continually. That's the only thing that you never count on, is that there will be change. Miracles can be. All you gotta do is sort of open yourself to it. And so those things inspire me. Playing with great musicians inspire me. Having the opportunity to, to make music with great people inspire me. Playing to an audience that is inspired, is happy, that's inspiring. You can go for a walk in the woods and be inspired. Look at a flower deeply and you'll be inspired. With a great painting, with a child smile, with a smile.